A reading from the second book of Kings. One day, as Elisha was on his way to Shunem, a woman of rank who lived there pressed him to stay and eat there. After this, he always broke his journey for a meal when he passed that way. She said to her husband, Look, I am sure the man who is constantly passing our way must be a holy man of God. Let us build him a small room on the roof, and put him a bed in it, and a table and chair and lamp. Whenever he comes to us, he can rest there. One day, when he came, he retired to the upper room and lay down. He said to his servant Gehazi, Call our Shunamites. Tell her this, Look, you have gone to all this trouble for us. What can we do for you? Is there anything you would like said for you to the king or to the commander of the army? But she replied, I live with my own people about me. What can be done for her then? he asked. Gehazi answered, Well, she has no son and her husband is old. Elisha said, Call her. The servant called her, and she stood at the door. This time next year, he said, you will hold a son in your arms. The Word of the Lord A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans When we were baptized in Christ Jesus, we were baptized in his death. In other words, when we were baptized, we went into the tomb with him and joined him in death. So that as Christ was raised from the dead by the Father's glory, we too might live a new life. But we believe that having died with Christ, we shall return to life with him. Christ, as we know, having been raised from the dead, will never die again. Death has no power over him any more. When he died, he died once for all to sin. So his life now is life with God. And in that way, you too must consider yourselves to be dead to sin, but alive for God in Christ Jesus. The Word of the Lord a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus instructed the twelve as follows, Anyone who prefers father or mother to me is not worthy of me. Anyone who prefers son or daughter to me is not worthy of me. Anyone who does not take his cross and follow in my footsteps is not worthy of me. Anyone who finds his life will lose it. Anyone who loses his life for my sake will find it. Anyone who welcomes you welcomes me, and those who welcome me welcome the one who has sent me. Anyone who welcomes a prophet will have a prophet's reward, and anyone who welcomes a holy man will have a holy man's reward. If anyone gives so much as a cup of cold water to one of these little ones because he is a disciple, then I tell you solemnly, he will most certainly not lose his reward. The Gospel of the Lord <laughs>